Hey everyone, I'm Zandia and I'm with Sam and we're going to carry on with our coverage of E3. Coverage yeah. is probably the wrong word, but... No, that'll work. Yeah, coverage. Yeah, sure. And now we're doing Microsoft. Yeah, so let's begin. So this was a good one. Immediately. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a good show. This, yeah. The following day after, uh, after EA, Sunday, Sunday evening, Microsoft usually kick it off at like half nine on yeah. um, on Monday morning, but yeah, they they decided to do it. I've always Sunday this year, but uh, yeah. well, not always. I think for the last two or three years, I felt that when Microsoft have um, kind of done their showcase, it's slightly like missed the target slightly. I feel like it's never been bad. It's always been really good, but I've always feel like it's just missing something they've it's it's been like it's been more of a conference than like anybody else that, that puts on a show like Ubisoft right. and Sony and yeah there's a uh, lot more talking about things yeah there's it's a lot. guys standing up on stage chatting to you about stuff and then showing a game or two before somebody else comes yeah. out and does this over and over so to um, start things off they show this which is another extremely detailed render of a processor it looks really nice so i i do actually like these animated like things coming <clears throat> together it's it always yeah. looks really nice it's it's weird like when sony came out with the playstation 4 pro and they were like this thing runs games in 4k be it checkerboard or whatever yeah. else technology stuff it's like this stuff looks really pretty. Here's a bunch of things that look really pretty, um, and there you go. But Microsoft seemed to be like pushing it as like, yo, this is the best thing ever. 4K, 4K, 4K. Yeah, they, they definitely like look to how use... this is an evolution of resolution. Yeah, they like to use keywords like monster. This is <laughs> the best keywords like monster. <laughs> the best console, our most powerful console in the industry right now. Yeah. Um, it makes sense for them to do that. Yeah, but it feels like they're tr they're pushing to be competitive, rather than being like, stuff on this thing looks really good. Here you go. Yes, that's also true. Yeah. Do you think they have to though, at the minute? Do you think they have to like push these buzzwords because of the Xbox One stuff? Because of the Xbox One's uh, sort of weird past. Yeah. I guess. It's maybe, true. Yeah. I just didn't want to say it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but. So maybe the issues the console has had in the past is like, this thing is is actually really good. Yeah. Trust me, this is powerful. This is the best console and on the market. And it looks really now, cool. You know. Well, look how edgy power. it is. Seriously, there are like 50 edges on this thing. I am down. <laughs> yeah. Stage is nice. Neon lights. Yeah, it did really good. But like, he comes out and he's like, "Yo, this screen is 4K, bitches." Yeah. Look how cool it is. <laughs> this was weird at E3. This is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> he really wants people to shut up. <laughs> this was weird at E3. Um, a lot of conferences, there was a lot of chanting. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was one. Yeah. That's not us. Yeah. No. We watched it on... What did we watch on? YouTube. <laughs> yeah. It was streamed in 4K and we did eventually watch that stream. But when it was like on demand. For whatever reason the stream wouldn't work yeah. when we tried to watch it. it was weird. Which sucked, but watching this back in 4K it looks really good. Yeah. Empower developers, delight gamers, and deliver true hardware and technical innovation. Kinda of ticks all the boxes, I guess. Yeah. There's no power greater than X. And today we are pre Oh because of Xbox. Ah right. Or no. named Xbox One X. So, I've had more time to think about this. The name. And actually I still hate it. I I hate it. <laughs> okay, I thought, I thought you were gonna change yep. your mind. No. no. No, I hate it. It's quality standard for gamers and game creators. I just Starting on November 7th, I love Nintendo so much. 
joins the Xbox One and calling the Wii the Wii U when it launches should have been okay, but for consumers, especially around Christmas time, who don't know what the fuck their kids want, have no Also, idea. when they go into game, they're like, oh, can we have an Xbox One S? Exactly. So an S sounds like one. X so say, much. Did you say S or...? Yeah, exactly. I say X. And unless they, a kid says the more expensive one... Oh, yeah. You, can I have the powerful control from the Microsoft people? Yeah. Please? Don't get me wrong, if you walk into... Well, if they walk into, like... A game store, Thanks, Phil. then they'll probably be able to, be to chat with whoever's working and they can help out a little bit. Yeah. But if they're ordering online or from a catalogue or whatever, like I, I can't, I can see a lot of sad faces Christmas time. Well, when they get the the white one, <laughs> yes, instead of the super duper powerful, because yeah. they're like, oh, you know, the one that, that's 4K. So, oh, right, okay, yeah. The one with the 4K player and yeah. it plays the, plays the games in 4K. Then again, by the time this is out, they probably know that they're going to be talking about this one. Hopefully. Especially when they're like, yo, this is $200. Yeah. I, and then the mum's like, oh, that's nice. It's only just come out. And they're like, oh. I think... You mean the $500 The one. fact that Xbox One games are going to be played on this, it had to be called Xbox One something. I'm totally yeah. okay with that. Yeah. Maybe not X, but... We'll see, anyway. Hopefully, what I'm worried about isn't true, and I won't be kids very upset Christmas time because I got an S instead of an X. Hopefully. Yeah. This was weird. They, weird isn't the right word. Like they this had to was, talk about specs and yeah. stuff. Like, like they're launching a new console, I guess. They didn't spend too much time on the S last year, but we knew compatibility was critically important for Xbox One X, and your reaction to 360 backward compatibility has energized the team even more. Red Dead. So right from yeah. the start, all of your Xbox One accessories and games will work with Xbox. That would suck if they didn't. Well, yeah. <laughs> but, but they had they had to come out and say that. Yeah, just just, so just in case. Like, yeah. The game library you have today or? will look and play even better on Xbox One X with enhanced. So I got a built-in nice boost mode that works with every single game. Well, uh, that's cool. Uh, the PS4 has that, even but this sounds like it would be more yet, robust for yeah. Already launched games. Xbox One X enables a technique called super sampling. And not all PS4 games do that either, so that'll be cool. Yeah. It's definitely impressive. It's mm. what this console is and like what they're saying it does is really cool. Yeah. Every detail of design as we crafted our most technically advanced console ever. It starts with the Scorpio engine. We use six cool, they're still using the word Scorpio. Yeah. Right? To build a 360 square millimeter chip with seven billion transistors and a 384 bit That's weird. Well, I have no idea what you like say. How right detailed now. they're going into yeah. it. Yeah. And I don't think anyone in that room has any idea. Yeah, but I bet some tech heads who are watching it will probably be interested in that stuff. Like, this will push them to decide whether to get one or not, maybe? You mean the people who are, like, literally got a notebook out looking which is the most powerful, which has the most numbers, you know? Yeah, or they're just, like, really excited about how powerful this thing is yeah I, I i can understand that i'm not one myself for just like going they're basically people who just only care about graphics yeah basically yeah invented a new power management system so innovative we named it after him the hovis method uniquely the bill gates method at the system and component level to deliver consistent performance efficiently and elegantly now, it's easy to think all this technology and capability... That's cool. But he, he is talking, like, about a lot of stuff and, like, not messing up and, like, he knows what he's talking about and he's getting it across pretty quickly, too. Yeah. Xbox One X is the smallest Xbox ever. It's like Xbox One X. Okay, it's not that bad. Xbox. The new Xbox. That is really small, though. Yeah. When I replace that one with that one, like, I'm going to be able to see a lot more of my desk. <laughs> yeah. 
Looks like a PS2, which is cool. Yeah. Same. Sh it doesn't look like a PS2. It's same shape as it. Yeah. Monster. Monster. There's one. Yep. They actually only say it twice. I was going to count during the thing, but ah, okay. then you say it twice. Anyway, is Assassin's Creed? Mm, no. Cool. These shots look super realistic. Future Six cool. City. Yeah. Or Dubai, whatever. Yeah, Forza looks really good. Yeah. I think Microsoft are very good at showing off Forza. Every yeah. year, this game is here, whether it's this or oh, Horizon or Motorsport, whatever. They have stunning trailers for it. They really do like. They got some good looking cars on this, you know? Yeah. Sceneries, all like. I can't remember when. Maybe last year, the year before. With Horizon, was that last year? Yeah. Yeah. And like. The tracks just look incredible. The cars, the lighting, everything always looks really good. And again, this year, th this looks really and good. And now it's in 4K. Yeah. Dynamic weather, all the, that yeah. stuff. There's a particular shot in this which really impressed me. Um, was it that? No. <laughs> was it this? No. That? Okay, we could be you out. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was towards the end. It was just the okay. time of day. The lighting was like oh, right, late yeah, okay. evening. Let me go around that last corner. This one? Not quite that one, but okay. that type that of one? lighting. Nope. He's in truck. We'll see you in a second. Is it... Shit. <laughs> is it during the gameplay? They did show gameplay of it, did they? Oh, yes. they did, yeah. It's during the gameplay. Oh, man. Got my hopes up. Sorry. <laughs> this guy loves cars. Yeah. Supercars are debuted at international auto shows. Frankfurt. This... <laughs> every year, man. <laughs> well, nearly every year. <laughs> yeah, but they were debuting a car this time. That's kind... That's... That's at, worth at, something, right? At E3, at, at this conference, it would make the guys there feel special. Here's a car. <laughs> There's probably like a dozen people in that room who were like, fuck, man. Yeah, okay, yeah, for 10 seconds. Yeah. I'm, I want to say everyone wants to know about the console, about the games. I can't see anyone sitting in that room or even watching online. <coughs> Right, when's the new car coming this year? I can't wait, you know? Yeah, what car are they going to have this time? <gasps> it's a Porsche! Oh my god, it's a new one! It, it's a really nice car, though. It, super nice. I guess. I don't know. Got four wheels, some doors. <laughs> it's, it's nice. It's really nice. So yeah, that, that's the car that they announced. And these two people come out on stage. Professional race car driver and Porsche driving coach. I'll be pushing the GT2 RS to its limits. On it's weird how they had this design. stage. Why? Just platform safety. safety. <laughs> you got no railings up there. Yeah. Liam <laughs> Nissan. So I thought it was cool that they had like proper race drivers on this. Yeah. But are they good at video games? <laughs> Well, is this live gameplay? There's <laughs> some, some nerds backstage actually <laughs> playing it instead. Well, using super high resolution assets, we've recreated the intense feel of one of the greatest drivers in the world. I was just pouring a drink, don't worry about me. I had no idea what that was. I don't know if it picked up. It's warm in here. Yeah, 4K. Yeah. It looks solid, really good. 60 frames. Um, Horizon was 30 frames locked on the Xbox One, at least. Yeah. Um, at 1080p. But like, the Xbox One S can upscale it to 4K and it looks really nice, but it still runs at 30. So at least with this one. Uh, that's cool. I wonder what that means for next year's Horizon, whether that's going to be 4K 60. Because that would be cool. That would be cool. I think Forza Motorsport 6 was 62. Okay. Uh, no, 60 frames as well, not 62 frames. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's asking a bit too much. 
<laughs> too much. This, this this was a shot I really liked. This is stunning. Was it that one? This is stunning. Is it because of the water on the track? It's the water on the track, the light in. Look at the clouds. Like when it when it's... it rains, the water actually gathers on the track. Oh, that's stunning. It really is. That's some like, like look at that's that. Some mathematic shit. Looks like Halo's on the left. Yeah, that guy. I thought I honestly thought it was until I read. Thoughts. I was like, wait. That's a lot of cars. Yeah. That's a lot of extremely detailed cars. Yep. You were the first people to see the 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. In this week at E3, like me. I guess it's cool. It's like. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess it's cool that it's a showcase. This car's not been seen before. Here you go. But. Every year. <laughs> every year. October 3rd. At least it didn't come down from the ceiling this time. Yeah, sure. October 3rd, that's out a month before the X. So. Okay. You get to play it and then get an update for it, which is odd. A lot of people are going to wait. Shoot. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, Phil, you were busy, man. <laughs> so true. <laughs> but for now, you have to play it on your garbage consoles. Yeah. Today... We're going to showcase the world's what if that means it's still going to be 60? With a lineup of different types of games hmm. for every type of gamer. This was a bold start. And I believe the most Why? Coming up. Lineup of games well, that we've ever shown if I remember. Do you have questions about the mixed pot? <laughs> games from creators large no. Small, games <laughs> oh, well. Okay then. Okay. That's good. That us to new worlds and offer us new it, it seems like they took a cue from last year's Sony. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Where they were like, maybe we should show like a bunch of games in a row. That's that. For Especially when they got 42 games. Yeah. Now, so. they're on Splash, yeah, a lot of them. They did show a 10, I'm not taking that away there from them. There was a couple, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there was like one montage which has like half a dozen games or so in it. Mm. But they had like trailer after trailer, which was really cool. But of course, they will play best on Xbox One X. That's what those letters behind him stand for, Xbox One X. That's so weird. <laughs> so if I heard him say 4A Games, I would have known what it was. Oh, you didn't? I didn't hear him say that, no. Right, okay. That's why I didn't, well, I mean, we kind of guessed it throughout it. Mm. But... Still sad it's not called New Earth. I was excited for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> New Earth. What did I say? I can't remember. Sorry. This looks super neat. Something hope, last hope or something, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. It's called Exodus. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cool trailer. I've got the first yeah. one, the remaster that came out on PS4. Um, I haven't played it, even though it came out like three years ago. So. I've not played any Metro games myself. I guess this is the Lost Planet at first. It's Earth. Apparently you couldn't go up onto the surface in the other games. Um, Could you not? No, because of all the radiation and shit. Shit. Or, or gas or whatever. It's poison is up there. Which way you got that gas mask on, but it seems to be getting better. Hmm. It looks real good. Yeah. And this was a really good start, I think. I don't know what... Whether this is a open world with quests and things. The others are like sort of linear but big yeah. areas. Fun fact, that thing that just jumped at us, I don't know what they are. I Mol jumped... Mole rats. Is that what they are? Oh, it looks like oh, that thing okay, fall yeah. out. <laughs> I jumped in the conference. I jumped when watching it back another time. Didn't jump this time. <laughs> Progress. Because it's not in 4K. <laughs> ah, right. Oh, 
nice. That's kind of hurt. Yeah. Good job, Neil. That's some Dead Space 3 shit. <laughs> this shot was cool. This. Yeah. You see that mountain? <laughs> I'm not sure if you can go there because I'm not sure if this is open world, but it, it looks pretty. Is that a map? Apparently that's in the other games as well. I was going to say, was it that? Was that the point where everyone realised? I mean, people got it from the 4A games, but... Oh, yeah. Also, like, from the... Bit, like, right at the start. As soon as it went to gameplay, we kind of got it. Crossbow. It also seems to be the year of the bear. Or the E3 of the bear. Uh, yeah, how many were there? Two, three? You had this... Um, Days Gone. Days Gone. Uh, another zombie bear somewhere. Oh, um... I think there's another one in this conference at least. But we'll, we'll count them. I'm okay with E3 of the bear. We've had bows and crossbows in the past, yeah. you know? Yeah, I think this was a really good um, kind of gameplay trailer to start out with. Especially, it just looks really nice. It's like tension building. Yeah. There it is, bear number one. Well, is that a bear? Yeah, it mutated. Okay. Zombear. Z I don't know how dynamic this kill is. Like with him getting knocked off and they're falling off the edge. Yeah. But then the game did some weird stuff with the shooting of those bad guys earlier, like as if it wasn't really gameplay. Mm. A, a lot of gameplay trailers have that. Yeah. Kind of things are a lot more dynamic than when you actually get in game. You're like, wait, I can't, I, I can't do this. Yeah. She is so strong. That would take so much power, right? Like, power. <laughs> yeah, just flat out power. She's just pulled a guy while standing on a moving train. That's physics forces he and might stuff. might weigh like 12 grams. <laughs> Exodoso. They had a lot of these, actually. Or premieres. Yeah. Yeah. And the exclusive console launch games. Are the first. Well, this was the first official world premiere. The first yes. To see the gods. The first to tame their beasts. Damn, this looks good. It does, no? I think this is a really good like trailer as well. Yeah, and like not including Bla uh, Black Flag, which was technically a prequel to AC3. Like right. this is the first time that they've really gone back in time. Yeah. Instead of pushing forward. I'm really excited for this. I love this hairdo. I think it looks incredible. Yeah, Egypt could be cool. There's a lot of shiny things. Yeah. I wonder if orange is going to get a bit boring though. Yeah. A lot of things seem orange or beige or gold. Apart from that guy's trousers, they were, they were green. <laughs> and those trees, I suppose. But still. Hippos. Get a hippo kill, get some XP. Climbing pyramids. Climbing pyramids to get sinks. Yep. Get, get that sink stuff. That bow looks cool. Yeah. So they have that trailer, and then this. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Doesn't have to be grounded, I guess. Yeah. It's, it doesn't it, matter anymore. It, it's just such a different tone to the rest of the trailer. Yeah. It would have been good if that wasn't shown in the trailer, and it was just like you stumbled yeah. across it in game. 
I'm really thankful for kind of this game because my like personal history of Assassin's Creed games played one and two and then I got a major part of three spoiled for me yeah. which sucks so I kind of put off playing any others just because it's made me not Until want now, to play them. Through them exactly and yeah. like this has made me really excited it's the first time I've been really pumped for an Assassin's Creed game yeah and I know you, you're a really big fan of uh, Syndicate. Yeah. But from what I saw, I've not seen much, to be honest, but from what I've seen from that, I weren't too hyped. Whereas this, I've been like, it seems to have changed it quite a lot. Okay. Yeah, I, I wasn't too big on Syndicate, but it was because of what happened with Unity. Right. But then after playing Syndicate, it was like, yeah, this is really cool. We added many RPG elements to a huge systemic world. More detail analyzed. Than ever before. I'm glad they showed gameplay as well. Today, we are very yeah. Very proud to show you what the game looks like on Xbox One X. <laughs> See, not even you can say it. Yeah, it is a bit of a Two mouthful. Yeah. For you, Bayek is coming back to Siwa, his hometown, to kill the fake oracle, Medunam. World premiere. It's weird because just before this conference we'd actually been playing Assassin's Creed 1 and we'd talked about it'd be cool to have XP and like... But like Syndicate does kind of do that. Yeah? Yeah, it doesn't do the loot thing that's in this. Right. Uh, Unity had a lot of that. Unity was pretty heavy on the loot. Um, or at least like gear with stats. Okay. With this it seems like you... Pick, well, I mean he straight up picks up a fucking legendary bow from a guy. <laughs> yeah. Which like is better than the one he's got so... That's, that could be cool. Um, no word on multiplayer or anything like that, so I don't know if you were to go around with the team mm. assassinating dudes and getting like new gear and shit together. Uh, but yeah, like Syndicate does make you level up and have that sort of stuff in it. Um, Siwa, my home. Yeah, adding more RPG things into it is probably a really good idea. Like the first thing you notice is that they got rid of a mini map. Yeah. They've added that compass. It's very Skyrim esque. So they've done it? the same thing to Far Cry now, too. So they've just got that compass up there, which makes me think they took cues from The Witcher and then have just right. put them into Assassin's Creed. Uh, which I'm assuming you're totally okay with. <laughs> yeah, like that seems yeah. totally fine. Put his, uh, his XP bar up there. Question marks on the map, that's straight up Witcher. And it's just like, I had a look at comparisons of like past Ubisoft HUDs right. and how clean this looks compared to the amount of garbage that's on your screen in like Division and Ghost Recon and past Assassin's Creed games. Yeah. This seems like way better, way cleaner. So, sometimes like anything that's minimalistic is better and that's what this kind of is. It's very, it's just clean as you just said. It's yeah. Masked one on my list. Now it is my turn to tip the balance of Anubis. I like the camera angle of this as well. I think it's... It looks um, like Crouch Button is back from Unity, which Syndicate didn't have. It's, it's weird the amount of stuff that they add in and then take out immediately. Yeah. Because they're all being developed at the same time. That's straight up Horizon or Breath of the Wild. Health bars on dudes. Yeah, I think it like blinks to show you how much health you would take away. Because oh, it cool. showed like most of his health, and he aimed at his head and showed all of it bl blinking. After playing a little bit of Horizon the other day, this seems uh, well, they're not giant robot dinosaurs, but similar. Yeah. I wonder how chatty you'll be as well. Hopefully quite chatty. That bow is so much better than the one he's got though. Yeah. So has he got two bows equipped now or like what? Uh, yes. Because he had two it, it looks on like, there, Yeah. Yeah, he's got another bow, look. Huh. That's kind of cool. Yeah. 
You can see their sight markers by that white blur on the right. bottom left. I was just about to ask what that was. And you got your drone. Yeah. So that's a waypoint. I love how bright this is. They've really like made everything just because of the lighting. It's just yeah, so good. Black Flag did it really well because it was set in the uh, the Caribbean, so everything was just like pearly, mm. like clear waters and like lush green forests and stuff. It was really cool. You will die, but then London's sort of like you know dank sewers yeah. and sort of shitty London streets. Buckingham Palace. Oh man. Combat. It's extremely different. Yeah? But I, I don't know how it plays. Like what? In terms of like combos and your shield and things. Oh, this Wait, was is cool. it just Dark Souls or what? He totally controlled that. Oh yeah, That's... you see it dip down a bit and then go up into that guy's head. Ah, uh, so cool. And it just shows you the kind of vastness of the world. See, look how orange everything is. Yeah. And then there's boats. Yeah. October 27th, there's <sighs> one. Boy. I'm really excited for that. I'm like 10 games behind, but I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there by October. Play together, they create together, and watch together. A whole new genre of games has emerged designed for both the player and the community. And with Mixer, we're innovating new features to make these experiences even better. This one's special. Of all the games in this genre, here is one that the world is having as much fun watching as they are playing. And I can tell you that includes many of us at Team Xbox. The creative director of Player Still yet to mess around with Mixer. Is a gamer turned developer yeah. who designed this. This is huge, I think. Need to speed payback is out November 10th. Okay, so. Brendan Green. Have they announced this is exclusive? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks, Phil. Good afternoon, everyone. There's Play Unknown. Play yeah. Unknown's Battlegrounds is a multiplayer battle royale where you must fight against. He did so many interviews. He's not very unknown anymore. <laughs> yeah. Kind of sad they called him. The I think his name's Brendan. Yeah. Rather than Player Unknown. <laughs> he should have just had a mask on. Should have had that mask on. Our development is truly community driven, and we owe much of our success to everyone who's given us feedback over the past year. With over three million PC players to date, we can't wait to bring Player Unknown's Battlegrounds exclusively to Xbox One later this year, with an update for mm. Xbox One X enhancements <coughs> shipping with the final version. See you on the Battlegrounds, everyone. I still can't believe they got this exclusive. I mean, it makes perfect sense, and it definitely so would. many players. Yeah, they are playing it on PC. I don't know how many of those would migrate over. I'm not sure. I feel like, from player unknown's point of view, maybe going multi-platform would have been perfect. But yeah, choosing. but it's like not when this comes out. It's going to be the finished game. It's not even going to be in early access anymore. So yeah, maybe Microsoft just saw how popular it was and thought, "Hey, dude, you want some money?" Yeah. Also, that's really clever. Yeah. I still really want to play this game. I've seen so much of it. It's yeah. really fun to watch. It's really, yeah. Watching this on Twitch has been really fun. Yeah. Seeing how tense it can get when you get down to like the last 20 other people is great. And it's such a simple concept, but it works so well. Uh, I think it was announced really recently there's zombies coming to this just as another game mod yeah that was announced at the PC gaming show you said right it's like 
that 90 people are going to be zombies and then 10 people are going to be humans. Okay, that's interesting. And then, <clears throat> he also announced two new maps are coming. Yeah. Which are cool. Like, I feel like this map has a lot of personality to it. Yeah. So I wonder... So that's that super expensive play on loan suit. Right. Mm. You can get that with loot, can't you? I think. I think you can get the cloak if it drops. I don't know. God damn it. Yeah, no, late this year means yeah. around the console's launch. Yeah, I mean, that's super exciting. Um, it's very interesting they chose to go Microsoft exclusive with that. Yeah. But, hey, we'll see. I agree with you, though. Not 100% sure how many will transition over to Xbox for that. Yeah. Like, especially considering how good that is for mouse and keyboard. Yeah. But, um... Anyway, moving on to this. Yeah, Lego Rocker Kind readers. of... Uh, <laughs> it's kind of Astroneer, but... With tower defense and co-op. Yeah. It... It looks neat. Yeah, it looks nice. I don't think it's, it's going to be something that I would play, though. Yeah, I'm the same. There are dwarves, though. <laughs> Gonna die. It's, it seems very hectic. Tower defense. I don't know. I like that subtitle. The three things you like. Tower defense and. No, the. Oh, oh, well, that's it. Sorry. <clears throat> Was it danger, danger darkness, darkness, dwarves? Danger, darkness, dwarves. Yep. You love all that shit. I they think, spent. I think there's a, another bear coming up. They spent a long time on this, right? Yeah, it was. This was a long trailer. I didn't play the first one, but no, some people did. Some people really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. What's gone? I don't know whether all the comforts those people would be interested in the simple pleasures you took. This much planet. coverage of a sequel at this show, like what? There wasn't really much need. And the protectors can't even save themselves. What was this called again? State of Decay. That's yeah. It. Yeah. It's been a while since that other game. Yeah. It's cooler as that again. I'm sure a bunch of people are excited for this. Yeah, but... Are there too many zombie games out now? Or were there too I, many zombie games shown at this? I feel like every E3 since zombies got super popular, like four or five years ago maybe? Yeah. I feel like every E3, you have to ask the question, are there too many zombie games now? Yeah. I, I want to say no. I mean, you can usually tell the good ones from the bad ones. Like, Dead Rising kind of has its own niche, where it's like a zombie game. Like, I mean, you can't compare Dead Rising to Days Gone. No. Or okay. like Last of Us or whatever. They are like really different. They're more cinematic and storytelling. Yeah. Whereas, um, something like Dying Light or and this. Dead Rising. Yeah. Is very arcade. Not, I don't use the term arcade, but it's very much beat them up. Kind of like, you mm. mm, It's usually you're way more powerful than the zombies. Okay. Yeah. Whereas, rather than survival horror zombies. Yeah. Is it like Resi 4 or 5 than Resi 7? Ah. Uh, okay. Just outside. Yes. I think that's a good comparison. Or, or Resi 1, rather. Not 7. The 7 is a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. You, get hungry. Cold. you just made me realise that Resi 7 has no zombies. What mistakes will you make? Mm. That's interesting. Not like directly, I guess. Yeah. God is about to tear okay, cool. Well, Will you end the life. Uh -huh. Or save it. Please. This is our only one. This is still on. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one. I would have just used. I would have shot. It's. Like, you wouldn't see that happen in, like, The Last of Us. 
because no. the clickers and zombies pose a threat if they're terrifying so you wouldn't see them just mow it down for giggles you know yeah I think you're not going to run them over and then get yeah. points so I'm glad there's different tones of zombie games but I, I can agree with you that probably are uh, one too many that guy should have checked his ammo counter and ran away I know it's on screen right next to him <laughs> The only one zombie game I do want. He ate his face. That, yeah, that, was... that looked like way more intestine than should have been inside that guy. I know, man, that stuff is You see, long. like, five Chris... stomachs come flying out. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of rib cages. Yeah, the only zombie game I really want is Left 4 Dead 3. Yeah, you're never going to get that, though. Nah, of course not. I'm still surprised this was so long. In this world of the living and like, dead. Four minutes? Yeah. How will you survive? And it's just like one long trailer as well. I don't think it's over yet, is it? Yeah, that that was the last of it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this oh, logo. logo is cool. This logo is real cool. It's a bird's skull with a shotgun and an axe. Yep. Early 2018. I really like that logo. <laughs> Exclusive. Again, Microsoft doing incredible with just trailer, trailer, trailer. Let's go. It was a bit of a shame that this was the next one, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. This looks so cool up to a certain point. Ah. Uh, kind of. I like this art style. I thought this was a completely different game. There is a game that's set in the woods. And it plays similar to Player Unknown's Battleground. I mean, that's kind of what this is trying to be. Yeah, maybe, maybe this is it. I remember seeing it a while back. I just can't remember the title. Two players remaining. Maybe well, it totally has that. Yeah. Are you thinking of the culling or something? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And it, oh, so um, the problem I have with this is when I first saw this, I was like, "Look, if they're gonna do this, why don't they actually get like a professional soundcaster?" And then turns out this guy is, and I'm like, well, "That guy is." It said down the bottom. And I, I don't know what you want to read into that, but <laughs> I don't know. It's trying to make. Play on those in eSport instead of just like letting people do what they want and having fun with it. Again, I'm super in. <sighs> so there's interactive bits for the people yeah. watching the stream. Also, this HUD looks. This HUD's a mess. Yeah. I don't know, man. I hated this so much. Yeah, that was probably the lowest point of the... Uh, that was just... <sighs> God damn it. This was cool. Yeah, have seen all those cities and stuff that people have built. Yeah. I really like Minecraft. It's, <laughs> it's a good game. Little Llama. Massive servers. Has there been? It reminds me of the Lego Movie where you got the Wild West in the sky. Right. That was cool. Has there been Minecraft of every E3 for the last God knows how many years, one mm, way or another? A couple, yeah. Because I mean, Minecraft Story, cross play mode. between the original yeah. uh, console, tablets, Switch, yeah, computer. That was really weird to see in a. Uh, Microsoft really cool, conference, but yeah. Uh, they came out and said you don't need the Xbox Live Gold account on He's for welcome. the Switch to uh, play online with other people. Really? Which totally makes sense, I guess. But I think you do need an Xbox account to log in. Right, okay. That's really cool. This I don't know if it works the same for Rocket League. Millions of Minecraft players will be able to play together on the device of their choice for the first time. It's cool they're doing the cross-play stuff. Yeah, 
It's a shame Sony are like, nah. Yeah, I, I... They're just blocking this and they stop Rocket League as well and they're just so it, closed on that stuff. It's super weird as well because Sony over the last, like, year, I'd say, PR-wise from tweets I've seen and just other, like, stuff they've come across, they've been very, like, positive. Like, yeah. They tweeted, like, Microsoft before they showed on saying, like, you know, good luck and stuff. Which is really cool to see. So it's weird to see them completely like be like, nah, crossplay is not for us. Yeah. It's really sad. Mitch, do you reckon they'll go back on it ever? I don't know. They should. Yeah, I kind of don't feel like they will. Though. It's a shame. We're revealing a new look for Minecraft that we're super duper excited for you to Super duper. Are you super duper excited for this, Sam? She was really happy she got to say super, super duper, duper on stage. Right? Yeah. Are you super duper hyped for blocks that look real good? It does look really good. It does look really good. Look at that fucking lighting. It literally, it's like... Uh, super duper. Minecraft modding community is like... Their goal is to but set now this your... Is just, this is official. Yeah. Like This stuff has kind of been in the game yeah. for a while. Their goal is usually to do everything they can to set your PC on fire. So now the Xbox One X, which is still really hard to say, is just like, you know what? We can handle this. Look how good this looks. Llamas in trams. <laughs> yeah. Minecraft. Oh, it, it looks so good. It's weird to see how far Minecraft has come. Yeah, ever since Microsoft got the... Uh... Yeah. Dollar dollars. Insane. Cool though. No word on that HoloLens stuff though, huh? Yeah. That's a good point. And that was a cool demo as well. Like, mm. it looked very finicky and a bit janky. Yeah. But and you needed a HoloLens. They're probably not coming out. Yeah. Searching for games that are fresh, new, and in some cases familiar. That means ensuring that the biggest third-party franchises you want to play are there for you on Xbox One. Of course, you'll find these great games in the Xbox Store, available for pre-order today. But bringing the biggest Why would you clap that? <laughs> I don't know, he, he put emphasis on today, I think. Everyone just felt like it was You can right. give us money for these games today. Today. If you really want to. Yeah. Woo. That um, uh, thing kept coming up. For those who couldn't get into Mixer. Is there a queue? Like, is it a relatively new thing? No idea. Okay, there you go. A little crazy and a whole lot of fun. Let's take a look at it. If this is what I think it is. If this is Dragon Ball, then... Yep, this is literally my game V3. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. This is incredible. I am so excited for this. God damn. It looks so it looks insane good. good. And like, it's made by the guys who made Guilty Gear. Yeah. And that game is crazy, and this is immense. Which is why it looks like a 2D fight. Oh it? my god, it's so yeah. good. Jesus Christ. I can't wait. And they've like put out quite a few gameplay videos like throughout the week after E3 as well. Yeah. And it's so good. There isn't quite a lot of gameplay out for it. Yeah. A lot of information as well. It's and three like, on three. It's just insane. It's amazing. God damn. He turns people into chocolate and then he yep. eats them. Yep. He does. That's boo alright. This is nuts. It's just explosions and energy yeah. going off everywhere. They've done some um, really nice references to some of the anime as well. Yeah. Like um, a really high point in like... Early. Yeah. Oh, it is early, isn't it? Yeah, like a really high point in like Exclusive. Dragon Ball is like to do with Frieza. But he has a move that does like a similar thing to the anime. Hmm. And it's just, it's a nice like little thing for fans. It's, oh, I'm pumped for that. <laughs> I'm really excited. I 
don't remember what this is. I forget about it every single time, and then I remember here. The world looks really nice. It's when I see those HD towns. Places like this, I wanna I wanna roam around in. I still not sure. I wanna I wanna go around there and go around and talk to people and pick up quests and shit. We could do it together. Yeah. We could. <laughs> Just do you still don't remember what it is. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh my god, yeah I do. God oh, damn it's it, always of course I do. You remember what it <laughs> I is. know it is. Yeah. You're like, oh, that face. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I really want to play this. The MMORPG colon the Black Desert. Yes. God damn. The character creator is so good. If they price it okay, like that'd be cool. I can't remember. Is there a subscription? Uh, no. There's not. Okay. I don't think so. The game's like seven quid on Steam. Right. Man. I don't think there's a subscription. This looks real great. It's definitely something I... Uh, I definitely want to try out at some point. Seven pound on Steam. Yeah. That's... Ah, oh, so good. Exclusive. Now this is super interesting because... Well, this looks so good. They showed some more of this at the uh, game show. The yeah. PC gaming show. It's just oh, man. depth and like pixels. Yeah, they wanted to have like 2D people in 3D pixel environments. Look at that. Just look at it. <laughs> like how deep everything is and you can yeah. see the floor and like the depth of field. It's so nice. It's The art style is kind of one of the coolest things I've seen. Yeah. The last night. I want to say artistically this looked the best. Yeah. Even though Dragon Ball obviously looks incredible, but just... Oh, yeah, Dragon Ball's the best game ever made. You're right, doll. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> but that does look cool. Though. Yeah. Exclusive. And then this happens. Yeah. Um, I still don't quite know what game this is. I think it's a rhythm game. Yeah. Did Tim Schafer have anything to do with this at all? Uh, did it say Double Fine at the start of this? I, I'm not sure if it's... I don't think it did. I don't know if it's anything to do with them. Because I had the same thought of you when I first saw it. I was like, um, shit, what's that game called he did? Uh, Headlander? Or, wait, you mean the one that Tim Schafer did? Or yeah, one yeah. That, right. um, I always forget the name, but... Oh, it's voiced by bloody Frodo. <laughs> Frodo? Yeah. Elijah Wood? Oh, yeah. uh, bloody Broken Age. Yeah, yeah, that's what... Yeah. Okay, right. Oh, yeah, the, the art style of it, kind of. Huh, yeah, I guess. The Artful Escape. I still Can't don't damn ready. know what it is. It, I still... I don't know. Is all I have no, to say. I think that. it's a rhythm game. And now anime. Yep. Woo! Anime. I think this is from the God Eater people. Okay. It's Code Vein, isn't it? Yeah. Um. This looks really cool. Seems like something you'd be interested in. Yeah. 
anime as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> that's why. They they found my niche and they're hitting it. <laughs> Microsoft, what are you doing? What can we do to please down you? <laughs> well, here's anime after anime Put after some anime, anime and play your own battlegrounds. In the we'll middle. make it Dark Souls, but not too Dark yep. Souls, because otherwise you might cry. <laughs> artists and development teams and I'm often surprised and humbled by their work whether it's a story that could only be born of a different land or artistic design and storytelling that in a single moment can capture your imagination and inspire there is much to be learned by looking beyond borders our first party is also a place of innovation and creativity today I'm excited to share with you an extended look at never-before-seen gameplay from Rare's shared world adventure, Sea of Thieves. Exclusive. This was quite long as well, wasn't it? Yeah, but at least it was, like, interesting. Yeah. Ah, the joy of a new voyage far across the Sea of Thieves. Just I'm way more excited about this than I thought I would be. I think for now we'll look at this without mentioning the Ubisoft one okay. and then maybe talk about it when watching Ubis but as this goes it looks fun it looks real fun yeah it has a rare the rare charm to it yeah um The narrator's great. Yeah, this is yeah, it's really good. It's got a lot of charm. It's yeah. And I'm really down for just diving into a sunken ship, collecting treasure. Yeah, this is definitely the way that they should have shown it this year, rather than having those YouTube guys on bef like before. Yeah. This shows like way better, like this, than it did um, any time they've just shown it with the YouTube people. Yes, it's possible to take on these toothy terrors of the deep, but you're not much used to your crew bitten in two. So she's just gone to get wrecked and you're just taking treasure, nice. Yeah. Uh is there a release date for this? No, I think it's just next year. Okay. That legendary pirate captain. Pathetic Dave. Damn it, pathetic Dave. God damn it. There's a moment of celebration or shared wonder. But for now, store your hard earned loot and enjoy the voyage. On Devil's Ridge beneath the I just want to get the gold lies hidden from treasure maps and then just roam yeah. around with you and go find stuff. I'm really interested to see how all this comes together. That is a nice transition. Yeah, that's true. Where you'll explore jungles and caverns, cliff tops and caverns. I'm interested in seeing like how you get the maps and like how big the world is and like where it takes you and stuff. Yeah. And like, hope it's not just always coming up against other players and then getting wrecked. Yeah. The PvP stuff I wouldn't be as interested in as like, you know, as we've mentioned, just like jumping on a boat with your friends, finding treasure map and exploring. Yeah, I hope they keep all that stuff separately. Yeah. That is a dead scout. An afterlife of fighting and troublemaking until all your bits fall off. It's what they would have wanted. Now, I'm not wrong. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. The, yeah, this was the part where I said I'm in shooting yourself out of the cannon. When he points that map at the. Oh. Riddles are cool. Mm. 
decisions, decisions. Ah, looks like they've sniffed out that place where there is no sky. Time to pull your resources as you plunge into the unknown. Inside. Nice. Clever. Yep. It would be easy to come a cropper in these claustrophobic caves. Oh yeah, and they did that live stream afterwards. Yeah. With a bunch of Sea of Thieves gameplay on it, yeah. Have you seen that? No. Okay. Crazy kid. Yeah, after seeing this gameplay, I know I want it, so yeah. I don't really need to see anymore. Yeah, I agree. Oh, I love there being like a map with the X, find the X, and you dig. Yeah. I really hope it gives you the option to like dig anywhere. Yeah, you just so, probably won't find anything. Yeah, that, 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 that's what I want. Like, mm. you can be wrong. It has the head bulb to, like, count how many steps you've got. <sighs> so clever. Notice? Yep. Good call on the double duty shovel work, too. That storm outside was nipping at your heels. So good. I really want to know what you get, and I want to know how. I didn't open the chest, but it is a legendary chest. Yeah, so it's got to be something good, right? That's what I think I'm interested in. I want to see, like, how good these items are. Like, if finding, like, if doing like a really long riddle puzzle will get you like a super epic chest and stuff, things like yeah, that. Yeah, will it be worth it? Yeah. Or will it just be like some money? Yeah, exactly. Because as fun as this looks, like, you know, solving the riddles, finding the X, digging it up, yeah. the loot has to be worth what you put into it. It has to be exciting. Yeah. Yeah, this is really cool. I think this was a really good kind of like showcase of just, okay, this is pretty much what the game is now. We've teased like little bits. This is like yeah. the majority of it. It's way further along than it was before. Yeah. Is this the third time it's been at E3? If you can regularly beat the odds and get chess back to your ship, you'll be able to turn a I think so. Just a tiny I don't think yeah. it's only been one year, see. No, I think it was announced one year and then uh, the uh, YouTubers played through it last year. Yeah. Right? Ship battles seem super simple as well, which is cool. Yeah, seem hard. That's interesting. If like you have to like go below deck to like yeah. reload. So I wonder how automatic this is. Well, you mean whether or not you have to aim? Mm. <laughs> now that would be cool. That would be something I wouldn't mind putting a little bit of time into, like getting good at judging distance and stuff. Yeah. It'd be really cool. Although I feel like, you know, if you went on your own, you'd get slaughtered, right? Probably, yeah. Um, do we know if there's AI ships? I would have thought so. Like, there's only four people on the team, mm. I think. That was cool. Go back. Early 2018. Yeah, another early one. Got a lot of those, it seems. Yeah. This was a nice trailer, nice and short. 
You're really excited for this, isn't you? Yeah, it should be good. How soon too? August. Whoa, that's Not really bad. soon. Yeah. Exclusive world premiere. Exclusive. So I saw this and I was like, oh, "It's conquer. It's definitely conquer." And then I saw more of it and I was like, "Okay, the tail. Yeah, it's conquer." I was wrong. <laughs> but. This. Yeah, this looks so good. This is when I saw it, so I, like, it was originally out on Oculus. Okay. I thought that was packed in with Oculus Rift. So maybe they were gonna announce some VR stuff. Okay. Which would have been big. But it turns out no, it's just nope. An insanely colourful platformer. I love me some platformers. This looks absolutely adorable. It just... This looks great. Yeah. I love these types of games because they just ooze fun. They just... It just makes me really want to play it right now. Yeah, you're just going through levels collecting stuff. Yeah. He gets shut down. That's yeah, that's rough. Sorry, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I had never heard or seen any of these characters. Did this get a release date? Uh, yeah, the same day this, uh, the Xbox X comes out. Okay. November oh, right, yeah, because you questioned whether it'll be a pack in. I think. Yeah, like, that would be kind of cool. It's a sequel to the Oculus game. It's a sequel, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, but so I don't know what that means really for story. I, I mean, doubt it would really do anything. Yeah. It's called Super Lucky's Tale, which I thought was cool. It just kind of make it sound like it would be a the first game. Yeah. That's cool. Exclusive. Oh, well, this was here. <laughs> yeah, it was. This... We thought all the, they need to say the name, say the, the date, and then leave. Yeah. But I like how Never is crossed out because it's a yeah. release date. But... Yeah. I guess it was cool to show some gameplay of it, because obviously people need to remember what this game is. Been waiting forever. Yeah, for we it. only ever see it at E3, but it's been like uh, so many now. Yeah. September 29th is kind of close too, I guess. But that really just needs to launch. Yep. Properly. I'm glad they didn't spend too long on it though. Yeah. We've seen it for so cool. many years now. It's yeah. just like, yeah, just give us a date and leave, please. Yeah. Okay. This was one of the highlights of Microsoft. I didn't as know well. Sumo Digital transitioned over to making Crackdown 3. Jesus Christ. But goddamn Terry Crews. Whoever's call it was to get Terry's Crews, Terry yeah. Crews, sorry for this, they deserve a raise. He's so good. Jesus. 
it's just so good. Terry needs his boom. <laughs> That's a great re-reveal for the uh, yeah. game. Oh, this is October 27th, isn't it? Oh, I think so. Um, do you still feel it's a game that maybe should have come out two years oh, ago? Oh yeah, this, this definitely should have been out already. Yeah. It looks like it should have been out already. Yeah. Graphically. Um, I feel like especially everything else they've shown at this conference this looks like a step back. Yeah, mm. I mean, no, nothing else is trying to do this. With the big, like, four player yeah. open superhero kind of type thing. But Saints Row 4 did that a couple of years ago. Uh, and seeing this at the same conference as, like, Assassins and Metro. Yeah, it's weird. Like, there were some really good looking games out now. But, like, God knows how many times this has switched developers and been yeah. restarted. And, I, I want to play it because I want to collect ability orbs. Agility. Agility. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, that was really fun. Oh, November 7th. Yeah, this is a console launch, no? Yeah, I'll get this and Lucky's Tail with it. That'd be cool. And then it ends. Oh, no, it's that splash video, isn't it? They, they do like to do this, don't they? Yeah. Here's a video of loads of games that aren't out yet, still. Even though it's been a couple of years. I that, think... that looks like the UB art game. Yeah. Or an UB art. Splash videos are really good sometimes. Yeah, montages. Especially when they contain some cool stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, Fable card game. So we have seen that before, a while ago. Yeah. Observer, yeah. That's already been announced. Okay. The <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that's a Smash Brothers type game that's on Steam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooblitz was at the PC gaming show and there was a good gameplay demo of that and that seemed really cool. Ooblitz is going to change the gaming yeah, industry. It's kind of like ever. Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Like Pokemon Harvest Moon Animal Crossing type thing. It's it seems kind of insane. Uh, I saw Cliffy B tweet about cool. how Ooblitz is going to change yeah. the industry forever. So hmm. Hello cool. Neighbor is big on Twitch as well. Conan Exiles is big with penises. Yeah. Nice. You got some good video. Yeah. At Xbox, it's not just about finding creative artists. It's about empowering them and nurturing them, helping shine a light on their work, making it easy for them to build and share their creations. That's why the ID at Xbox program is so important. The team has released over 500 games on Xbox One and Windows 10 through the ID at Xbox program. That's not bad, is it? Mm. It's really cool. And this is not just a milestone for the program and the independent developer community. It's a milestone for everyone who loves great games. That's me. I hope yeah, that's... Yeah, today is that you? So mm. great to be a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you don't like good games. My past wouldn't uh, live up to that if I said yes. Yeah. No, I love good video games and you appreciate them. Yeah, and they've done a really good job. You just keep stop playing them. Yeah, I'm the worst of that. Like a dick. Very special. Yeah. <laughs> This is this oh, was announced last yeah. year. Last year. Yeah, it was. Uh, or the year before. Something. This seems oh, really cool. Another co-op. It's like co-op Dark Souls. Yeah. But with a cool art style. Everyone I, I kind of don't want to play it. 
No? No. Okay. Doesn't really interest me, but it looks really pretty. Uh, maybe it's easier than Dark Souls. Yeah. Looks scary though. Yeah, which is why I'm interested. A co-op, like, scary, but weird. You don't like scary things. I love scary games if it's more than one player. Oh, okay. But I'll, playing scary. Turn my mic off. <laughs> <laughs> playing. You like shit? Shame you still here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're not doing couch co-op. This changes things. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's split screen. This rebirth will end our wandering. I think it looks really cool. I don't like how the characters don't have faces. It's because you are the player. <sighs> It doesn't want you to associate them with being on the adventure. It, it's neat and cool, I just... It, it doesn't sit right, it makes me uncomfortable. I guess. It's cool though, um, they showed a lot more this year than they did last year. Did that have a date uh, then? The, the reveal trailer for that was like way different to this. Hmm. Still need we'll uh, we'll, we'll play through this. Yeah, I really want to see what choices you make. Oh, I don't boy. really want to go through it again myself. Yeah. No, I, I don't know what your choices carry over. Okay. Or with, Wait. Like, with this or I know this is a prequel, but like it may still do. Right. Okay. Um. And whatever the sequel is coming out. <clears throat> yeah, it'd be really cool to see what happens before Max comes back. With Chloe and Rachel. A lot of it's like alluded to, but not necessarily told. Yeah, I need to play this. Well, not this one, like just that like car crash as well. And them guys, and that idiot. He plays a big part in the Life is Strange. Okay. You thought Brothers was emotional. Man. Oh boy. Life is Strange is a good game. 103 August 31st. We gotta do all five of those before August 31st. Then. Oh god. Okay. I can do that. <laughs> Please welcome, from Monolith Productions, Vice President of Creative, Michael De Platter. Now we're talking. This trailer was really long as well, but it was really cool. Yeah, but more, I mean, they got the guy on stage to play the game, didn't they? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I didn't play the first one of these. No, I need to go back to it. And it's probably because I own it on Xbox One. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, you'll get an update, won't it? Playing 4K, yeah. you got a PS Pro update when that came out. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, if you get an X, which would be like never. Yeah. <laughs> God, Bruce is so good. <clears throat> Bruce is probably the best new character of this oh, year so far. Yeah. Uh, no offense to everybody in like you know Horizon and Persona and Neo and whatever. <laughs> in Shadow of Mordor, we introduced a way to create unique personal stories for every player, and in Shadow of War, we're expanding the Nemesis system. Two new features we're really excited about are forging an army of followers and nemesis <laughs> Still. Uh, this game has like insane systems in play at all times. Yeah. Yeah, like before you go raid a base you're gonna be sitting in menus for like so long just managing shit. Okay. 
like you might have one of the uh, generals um, you're going up against. It might be afraid of spiders. Right. So like you could like equip someone or like make something to do with spiders, and then he'll uh, be sp scared and like run off to a certain area and, and things like that. Okay. Like a ton of planning it'll be. Personality, yeah. What the uh, enemies have in this. Is it in this? Oh, do you mean Shadow of Mordor? In this. Okay. Yeah. I haven't played enough Shadow of Mordor right. to really. Okay. Because I was gonna say, is, is the first game anything like this, character-wise? Pretty much, I think. Okay. Like they do. I, I just don't know if they're like this friendly, <laughs> like Bruce. <laughs> Such a good guy. <laughs> yeah. Lord, Same thing, really. It results me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway. So either way's a win. A fine addition to our <laughs> army. Name's Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No one gets to you without my say-so. Don't worry about my enemies. They will all follow eventually. <laughs> you wanna plant your flag? In uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed <laughs> troll figure. So good. Oh, that's great. Which, oh, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You take him down, you'll send a message to Sauron and get yourselves a nice new dig as part of the bargain. Whoever wrote this character has that's done good. a really good job. Yeah, and the casting. Yeah. God damn, it's so good. Yeah. I hope there's more like that as well. That's just one guy yeah. to recruit. So. Since we're ready to assault the fortress and overthrow the overlord. Do you think they spent a lot of time during development of this, like as you just said, kind of making sure a lot of generals have personality to them? Maybe. It's had a lot of work done to it. Like, it's just expanded so mm. much from the first game. You cleave me in two. Any other orc would have died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. My brothers put me back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. You did. You created the machine. It's like that guy seems to have a lot of calling like, yourself the machine. In well, the third person is a bit weird. Weird or cool? <laughs> Definitely weird. Okay. Yeah, it's weird, weird. It's still got these quick time events. Like when you're about to die. Yeah. Yeah. So is it just if you're ever in a fatal position, quick time event can get you out? I think if, yeah, if you get hit, you go down and then you, they do a slow-mo quick time event if you're going to die. Yeah, like this menu and stuff is right. going to be deep as fuck. And it's a Play Anywhere title, you buy it on Xbox One, you get it on PC. That's cool. I mean, it'd be Windows Store, it won't be Steam, yeah. but... That's kind of cool. So what interests me... Is, you know, they just had that menu, setting up for, like, whatever this is. Yeah. Um... And they had... Is it... Bruise? Yeah. Yeah, Bruise. So, you know, you have like this cutscene yeah. or this, you know, dialogue. Does that change per leader you yeah, choose? Yeah, probably. Because <sighs> that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. You focus on the defenders. Divine focus. He means murder. Seems real cool. Yeah. 
conquer Mordor in Shadow of War. And we can't wait to show you more this week at E3. Thank you very much. Another one for October 10th. World premiere. Jeez. Wait, October 10th. Wait, 27th. Game of the show! <laughs> Just getting Dragon Ball. I'm straight. I'm not sure if any of this is spoilers for the first game, but... You need to play it. Have you played it at all? No. That sucks. <laughs> You're a bad person. I, I... Yeah, I admit to it. I... Sean's played it. He's a cool guy. Uh, does that redeem him? <laughs> I think so. Damn it. You played it and enjoyed it, so that's good. Oh, okay. It's not like you played it and hated it. That would suck. Yeah. There are people who are like that. Oh, really? Yeah, they're monsters. <laughs> <laughs> so you really like the first one? Oh, it's great. Like, yeah. yeah. Mm. I think you mentioned... Super tight controls, really fun. I think you mentioned recently, like, you think it's like one of the greatest of all time yeah. that you've played. I put it on my list. Rad. Yeah, I. It's one of my favorites. I I own it as well. I. Yeah. Yeah, I really want to play it. Again, I feel like it's maybe one of the ones if it was on PS4, it which is really lost bad. Lost out just slightly to The Witcher. Yeah. And uh, 2015 on my game of the year list. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not slightly because The Witcher's so good. <laughs> yeah. But this is also extremely good. How long is it? Um, luckily, uh, to be fair, go on. Sorry, six, seven hours. Okay, maybe ten. I was gonna say, luckily, because it's a game I really want to play. I've stayed he the hell away of it. I generally don't even know what type of game it is. I generally just. I mean, it's Metroidvania, like yeah, type thing, yeah. Okay. And that probably won't take you that long to do, but like going back through the world and going and collecting the uh, yeah other upgrades and things for you. I feel like any game that I'm really interested in, but don't get around to playing, I tend to just completely like stay away from it, so I have no information whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. Tends to work out really good. Like Brothers, for example. Like I really wanted to play that, but I knew nothing of it, so I stayed away yeah. from it. And then I played that, and I really enjoyed that. No release date on that though. Ori yeah. affirms my belief in the beauty. Artistry and Phil art really likes Ori as well. We believe that games he likes everything. Like he does, he's a cool guy. Movies yeah. and music should be celebrated and enjoyed by countless generations. We're passionate about preserving only one game left now, games it? you own, the classics of the past, and Hansen? the genres you love to play. But was there any more? That's why two ago, we launched oh, and oh, oh, right, yeah, they announced this. Xbox 360 games. I played quite a few backwards compatible games. Yeah. Yeah, Geometry Wars, Assassin's Creed, Today, our library of games Red Dead. So you're gonna start the two then? And I was like, you need that thing. I struggled to think yeah. of more. <laughs> it, it's cool that it has that. Yeah. Today, I'm pleased to announce an exciting expansion to the program. That's a cool announcement. Yeah. I wonder if they'll have uh, more info on it soon. Like, I think Fusion Frenzy is announced to come in. But like, is this a, yeah, yeah, that one. But like, is it going to be a certain like release schedule like they did with the 360 stuff? Right. Like, oh, five new games are coming this week. Um, or whether it's going to have like you know on 360 where you, you can still go into the guide button and bring up the Xbox One menu and all that other yeah. stuff and still voice chat and things but like Crimson Skies was big online but like they've shut off Xbox original online yeah. services you can't play any of that shit online anymore are they just going to like emulate that stuff back are you going to be able to play that thing yeah. online now that would be really cool well, I don't care. I don't need online to play Shenmue 2. So I'd assume they'd add achievements to it. 
add like new servers and stuff. Yeah. You say achievements. Yeah. No. <laughs> no? Nah, that's way too much work. Maybe. Yeah. Depends how long they spend on them though. Hmm. It's true. That's what I mean. Can you just put in the disc and then play it? If it's that, then obviously no, they won't. Yeah. If it is that, which is to be honest, what they probably should do, make it as easy as possible. I've got like two Xbox games that I care about playing. Well, three, I guess. I could play Metal Gear Solid 2 on it. Okay. <laughs> but I got Shenmue 2 and Rollercoaster Tycoon, so that's cool. And these are games that get an Xbox One updates. Basically, everything that's got Pro update now. I might buy Final Fantasy 15 on Xbox One. Yeah. And then play it on the next. That you own today that will automatically get better on if like bumps it up makes if, it smooth. If ever you want to go through it again, yeah. don't see why not. I mean, I got a platinum, so I might as well get a thousand G, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's a bad train of thought. <laughs> Otherwise, you play every single game five times. No, I mean, it's not. It's only for games that I really enjoy. Yeah, that's true. From developers large and small, 42 games. Including 22 with console exclusivity on Pretty Xbox. sure that was 41 there, yeah. Phil. I think I counted. I think you're uh, losing the plot a little bit. Yeah. On, on PC. Oh, Xbox One family. And on Xbox One X runs every single game you He really put emphasis on the X. Yeah. To like make sure you know he's talking about that and not the S because it's such a stupid name. Yep. I don't know, I don't actually mind it. I just call it Xbox. Xbox X. Box. Xbox. 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 Xbox.
I think the scale of things in this game are great. And it's yeah. going to be great. Is this a cutscene? Yeah. That's a good face. Hmm. Better than Mass Effect. <laughs> well, <laughs> I know it's not hard, but. Yeah. And you get an objective. Is this this person pressing up on the analog stick or? You and your friends are freelancers. Um, you think it's still a cutscene? I think it's still a cutscene at, at the minute. To explore the yeah. Unknown yeah. And protect humanity. Let's join two players. It's just weird that there's HUD stuff. Yeah. I think it is a cutscene though. You ready to go? Just grab some supplies. Just about ready. What are you gonna use today? I decided to go with the. So claustrophobic, but so comfy because it's all padded. Looks like asbestos. <laughs> Here's Iron Man. That's what a more war machine. The suits are cool. It is Iron Man Simulator. Every player will own an array of exosuits we call javelins. These suits That's a good name. And now it's gameplay. Yeah. And are heavily customizable so they yeah, like javelin. play how you want. Damn, looking good. Super hero landing. <laughs> I like how his leg yeah, I juts around. Mm. You lead the way, I'll follow. And then they just kind of fall. Yeah. Then they're just like, yeah, by the way, this world is huge, vast, just incredible. Look at it. It was at this point where I realised that this is basically Xenoblade Chronicles X. Yeah. Yeah. This is a vast open world you explore with your friends. Which I've been able to fly around. So I agree your, in your robot. Yeah. I agree with what you said, I think, when you first watch it. You hope that like the forests are actually this dense full of yeah, like, looks like foliage yeah. and just yeah. deep. Mm. Yeah. Think how many treasure chests there were gonna be everywhere. Hopefully. Yep, that's a good choice. Look how big everything is. Yeah. How good stuff looks too. I wonder how deep it goes. Verticality is a big thing in Xenoblade. Yeah. So like, seeing this with really high ledges and, and stuff that you might be able to climb up is uh, kind of cool. And yeah, the combat oh, just man. kind of looks like Mass Effect. Hang in there. Mass there. Jeez. Have you been in there yet? I haven't. We should do that later with Kim. Stupid Kim. Got that. You get experience for finding places. I'll fill in the map. I want that to be a massive world map. Fill it oh, in man. XP for every bit. You can have to fly to the top of towers or. Um, I don't. In, in Xenoblade, you go up to these like little deposit right. things or whatever and put little probes down, and then you can fast travel to them. I wonder if it would be like that. You I have can't to believe I'm going to use places. this game as an example. You know two worlds? The first one? Yes. It's literally going to be as you walk in an area experience, you've discovered this area. Yeah, I mean that's what it was. Yeah? Do you think there'll be towers though? To like, unlock... Oh, you think when you unlock a... When you find a place you can go there. Yeah. Mm. It might open the map but you might have to unlock a fast travel point. Right, okay. I get what you mean now. You got explosion. Daleks. <laughs> <It's>, yeah. <laughs> Missed. Yeah, now this was really cool. I didn't expect them to be fucking rockets. Jeez. Yeah, that ability looked, look good. pretty okay. 
and the bean. Like how they laugh when they get like the kills. And then the bean of my existence. Getting legendary weapons. Yep. Oh, or any kind of weapons. Do it better than Destiny. Sold. Yeah. The first Destiny. Loot is, if it's going to be like this and there's like drops, it's going to be very important and I'm really interested to see what systems they have in place for it. We can, we can just wander around and find shit. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, what's and Kim. Kim's level 36, he doesn't need experience. Well, what do you reckon the level, level cap is? Gabe's not even out 40. yet. 40. <laughs> This stuff just happens randomly. Yeah. If it's like dynamic weather and these storms. But then again, this storm might be to do with the story because you are getting close to this. Maybe area. it's like one of those things where it's like a story mission's activated and now they hit this point. It's like that. Oh, man, I want to be a warlock. <laughs> and then you got this weird energy thing and. Our story is out there. Like, what the hell? I. Yeah. God, it looks so cool. It does. Please be good. Coming 2018. It's not early, that's for no. sure. Oh, that'll be like holiday 2018, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> and then it's the end of that. Yeah. Sure. It looked really good, though. Like, I'm really excited for Anthem. I'm glad they, like, kept it to last as well. They were like, well, this is the the big thing yeah. to end with. That kind of was their big showing. Yeah. Especially since they haven't got Halo with this. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like in terms of first party stuff, they kind of had Forza, Sea of Thieves. Kind of it. I don't think always first party, but a crackdown technically counts, I guess. They they had a ton of exclusives. Yeah, but it wasn't from Microsoft Studios. No. Assassins looks really good. Yeah, it does. Metro Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Yeah. See if these looks interesting still. That didn't say exclusive for Dragon Ball, did it? No, it is on PC. It's on PC, PS4, and uh, right, okay. And Xbox. They, well. Microsoft just had it then. Yeah, they just pretty cool. announce it on this stage. Glorious 4K. But yeah. All right. So that was a uh, Xbox and Microsoft's uh, conference. Yeah. So, gonna score that as well. Um, I guess I'll go first again. Um, it's hard to put that one into numbers I think than the others because um, Microsoft has always been very I don't want to say disappointed but as I said at the beginning of the conference it's been the one that has never hit the target for me whereas this year I feel like they literally were just like alright yeah we're gonna just knock it out of the park this year and just show games games like because the whole conference was game 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 alright Phil's on stage for like what 30 seconds, more games, yes. yeah. I uh, indie, and then that. I want to give it, I honestly think they did the best out of everyone at E3 this year. Okay. So I'm going to give them an 8.5. No, 8.75. You, you want to do two decimal places? For this one only. But. <laughs> For this one only. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no, it's there though. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll... So I feel like... Aside from Bethesda, Microsoft have always gone first. Yes. Um, in the past, and... Like... It was a really good way for them to kick off the show as like a press conference -y type deal. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning. Um, and I think this is probably their best showing in, well, probably ever. This yeah, is probably no. Microsoft's best conference that they've ever had at either E3 or Gamescom or anywhere. Um, they did have some really, really good games. Some weird choices on some of them. Yeah. Like that Darwin shoutcaster guy was a bit 
kind of yep. no, but they didn't have men in blazers, so that was cool. Um, the zombie game, I can't remember what it's called. The State of Decay 2 yeah, that went, went on off. for a little bit too long. They brought out car again, that's never good. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, there might be some people that were interested in it, but okay. whatever, this is yeah. my score. <laughs> but I think like all of the big games that they had on show, Assassin's Creed, um, Anthem... Um, like, he, he, hell, even Metro looked really good, mm. and obviously Dragon Ball, I guess, yep. was a was a really cool showing too. Um, I think they deserve high praise for it. I oh. think I think I'll give Microsoft an eight point eight. Okay. For that. Well, that's fair enough. I think. Um, I feel like the extra. Point two five may even be just for Dragon Ball alone because that's like my game of like E three like that is the most hype. But the extra point what two five point two five you yeah. were going to say eight point five originally were you? Yeah, but not not even just that. I think they get deserve a few extra marks because I think they did really well this year, and I okay. think they do deserve the praise for yeah. it. So yeah, that was our scores. Um. Thank you guys so much for watching. And next up is Bethesda.